First, sure. um, you were diagnosed with uh, multiple sclerosis in 2000? Correct. Is that right? Um, one of the treatments you underwent was chemotherapy, and I'd never heard that. Explain what that is supposed to do for that. So, so I started off with uh, disease-modifying drugs. I took Copaxone, continued to decline, uh, and then I converted to secondary progressive MS. And at that point, uh, people used mitoxantrone, which is a form of chemotherapy, uh, and basically it's to uh, inhibit your uh, immune cells. Uh, and yeah, that's a very standard approach when people have made that conversion to secondary progressive MS. Okay. Uh, and it may stabilize the disease. Uh, you don't uh, uh, expect people to have a dramatic uh, improvement in their function. Mm -hmm. So you had about, give or take, a seven-year stretch where you tried a number of... of well, yeah, uh, right? ab absolutely. Uh, so you know, I did the uh, first-line ABC drugs, uh, then I did mitoxantrone, uh, then I continued to decline. Then I uh, did uh, Tizabri, which is the first new biologic, continued to decline. Then I was placed on Celsept, another immune suppressing drug, and continued to decline. Now, you know, once I hit the uh, wheelchair and had taken the mitoxantrone, uh, I, it was clear to me that conventional pharmaceutical approaches were not likely to stop my he heading towards a bedridden, potentially demented, potentially uncontrolled pain life. And that's when I started reading the basic science. It would begin, you know, my odyssey of self-experimentation. Mm -hmm.